Hey, what's up everyone? Uh, this is Wei here and just doing a quick EDC uh, check on what I'm carrying around when I'm out and about. Uh, so this one is actually uh, my everyday carry that I recently got in um, starting around June of 2021. Um, so currently all of this uh, is actually like one month in and then these are the stuff that I carry whenever I go to work and, and whenever um, I'm just out and about and, and, and I'm lazy to pack stuff and then I have this bag and I just carry along and um, this will be my uh, only go-to bag when I'm carrying stuff around and inside should have all of the things that I need um, for my daily work and everything else uh, so let's get right to it so right off here we can see um, there is this uh, CAP written over here so this is, this is actually the Maxpedition compact admin pouch uh, which uh, carries a lot of stuff although it's being compact and uh, all outside here you can actually see um, that I can hang all this stuff because it's uh, molly compatible and, and there's a lot of uh, space for us to edit attachment over here so um, the CAP was a very good deal that I bought on Amazon Singapore because uh, I think it was going for 70% off for some reason um, not, the, not the grey one though but it's only the black one and I managed to tag it up and I think this one actually uh, launched my uh, EDC uh, journey so uh, right outside here you have the Maxpedition CAP and then over beside here you have the Hero Clip so the Hero Clip um, actually does um, a very good job of hanging everything we want uh, anywhere on the table uh, when you're using the toilet in the public toilet and, and of course any other things that you can think of um, it has a let's see it has a 22 kilograms this is actually the small size of the hero clip and it's doing uh, such a great job I actually bought a medium size as well for my um, other bag okay so the hero clip goes here and next we're gonna look behind here there's this uh, very cumbersome jutting up kind of uh, to uh, torch light that I'm using right now um, so this flashlight is actually uh, the Nightcore Nightcore MH12S uh, I use this when um, sometimes on days which I go to work and I leave work around night time and it's a bit dark uh, because I'm working around the industrial area in Jurong um, so this one just gives me a bit of a light solution and it has a very nice clicky feel um, and yeah, this one just sits behind here in this nice little neat holster. Okay, so now if we go in into the main part of the bag. So over here, there are a lot of things which uh, doesn't seem like it's uh, most of other people's EDC uh, because um, this is actually uh, specially tailored to my job. Um, so I'm going to start from the left side. Over here is um, in case I have some burns or something, there's some aloe vera going along. So um, I can use this if there is burnt, uh, it happens, uh, nothing too um, serious for the Ministry of Manpower to step in, but yeah, um, a burn here and there. Um, next is actually this thing called the liquid plaster. The liquid plaster can be, uh, gotten, uh, can, can be gotten in most of the pharmacy in Singapore. Um, yeah, this is actually from Japan, just a, a swipe on kind of a bandage, so there's no need to like uh, use the traditional one or in case this is have um, the, the, the injury is on a very awkward or uh, a weird kind of a place so you can just uh, apply this on and next uh, is actually a pen uh, this pen is a little bit on the um, like it's a signature pen uh, because um, sometimes I just needed to put some signatures in and out and uh, this one is a little bit um, it's given me uh, by my girlfriend, uh, so uh, it's a very nice pen. Um, it's not most of the EDC tactical pen that you see out there, but this one is more to uh, when I'm out about and I need a, a pen to sign off papers or just uh, write on official documents. Uh, this is the pen that I usually go for. Okay, just gonna put it right here. And next over here, you can see uh, uh, there are some uh, tweezers. Uh, got this off from amazon as well the price was good um it's really just to pull off uh, some splinter or some you know uh, hairs around uh, or usually um just for easy gripping uh, because uh, the slanted tip is a very interesting design to uh, pretty much grab onto everything that i want it to grab on so uh, it follows me 
Uh, next would be this thing. Uh, it's a stain pen, or also known as a detergent pen. Uh, so what it does is actually just clean off uh, with a little bit of uh, deter detergent solution. Um, just to make sure that the clots are sometimes when you eat something and there's gravy and soy sauce around just to really make sure that your shirt is you know cleaner than usual than a one blob of stain when you're outside okay and then uh, of course uh, thermometers because uh, COVID-19 so uh, this one is just following me around just in case I need to take a quick um, measurement of my uh, body temperature uh, something good to have around I guess Uh, next is something also quite unusual because uh, sometimes we have uh, nails or splinters So I decided just to snip it off. Uh, got this off from Amazon again um, Although a bit big, but yeah, it has a few features in there and it's uh, kind of sharp. So good to have Over here just be a paracord um, uh, Nothing too much. I don't see much use for it um, except for tying up stuff when I need it uh, USB cables, uh, because we can't live without electronics and technology. Uh, this one is when there's public spaces and you just need a short cable to actually cover um, most of your charging needs. USB-C, USB-B, and um, sorry, USB-C, micro USB, and also lightning cable. Yeah, just to bring this around for public charging. Um, some safety pins, uh, just because uh, you don't want to be caught um, with, uh, let's say, a broken button or something. And if we go to the next side, uh, we will be looking at um, some other stuff. So one is actually a Zippo lighter, just for um, uh, any kind of ignition source. Uh, not that I use it all the time, but um, this one I got it back in 2010. Uh, been following me around sometimes. Um, since it's small, I just add it into my EDC pack, never know when I need a light, I don't smoke. Um, I, I, I don't uh, condone smoking, but then uh, this is something I bring along just for a fire sauce. Uh, a rain emergency poncho, uh, just because uh, it's rainy sometimes in Singapore and I don't want to be caught in the rain. And then uh, we have this thing, it's actually from the... Uh, nail clipper over here, uh, but what actually it does is actually is my little uh, pill box. Uh, so I have a lot of uh, charcoal pills because I have a very weak stomach, and then um, some Gaviscon, ibuprofen, claritin for antihistamines. Um, basically, uh, things which you can buy off the counter, and um, uh, thankfully, there's not a lot of uh, symptoms that I have, but this is just good around when I eat something wrong or I'm having some allergy reaction. This follows me around. And uh, other than that, I would say it's actually just uh, a packets of uh, alcohol swabs, uh, wet tissue, um, bandages. Uh, these are more, um, I would say, these are the more traditional stuff that you usually bring along for, for emergencies. Um, so it's just got towels and uh, bandages. I know there's a lot over here because a box actually gives a lot. Um, these are the traditional ones. Uh, these are the applied on ones. So I'll just bring both just in case. Um, and finally, uh, I would say that the, the ones that I like the most in my EDC bag is actually, of course, um, our multi-tool. So this multi-tool is actually by Leatherman. Um, and Leatherman actually did a very good job. Um, and of course, uh, I wouldn't want to buy the normal version one. <laughs> so I actually, I got myself the search. Uh, I added out this little um, clip as well, so that I can uh, hook it in a deep pocket whenever I'm working. Uh, this one follows me quite a bit at work. Um, so yeah, it, it gets the job done. Um, comes with, of course, the, the traditional classic pliers. Uh, nice heft to it, um, a bit of weight. Um, also do cover all the knife solution, I would say. The, 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 the serrated knives, uh, the scissors, full-size scissors. So it's actually um, very good. It's springed and um, yeah, I use this for most of my work um, stuff and then also a knife just to uh, cut stuff up or cut off the straps whenever I'm opening up packaging at work. And then uh, you have all these uh, tools behind where I use it for prying and, and everything. There's just a little bit of wear marks coming along. Um, yeah, I use it all the time. So yeah, 
good thing to have a uh, good heft to it of course uh, one of my favorite tool in my EDC bag so that's it this is what I carry whenever I'm, I'm out and about and especially to work just take everything in there dump it in here and this is my EDC carry thank you for watching